this is just basic wave stuff here. Um, and uh, we're just going to do some vocabulary first. The, the first thing is, is the word medium. Uh, the medium is the, the material through which the wave travels. So for sound, uh, right now it's air that the, that the sound is traveling through. Ocean waves travel on the surface of the ocean, um, et cetera, et cetera. Some waves don't actually require a medium. Um, like for example, electromagnetic waves can travel through a vacuum, which raises interesting questions about electromagnetic waves. Um, amplitude is how big the wave is. Right, so this would be like the wave height if you're talking about ocean waves. Uh, if it's sound, it's how how loud it is, and if it's uh, light, it's how bright it is. Right, um, and then this is this is very hard to wrap your mind around. This one, kids find this very hard to understand. Wavelength turns out to actually be the length of the wave. Right, so it's like from the crest here to the to the crest there. You could also go uh, trough to trough, or or you could go in some arbitrary place. To some arbitrary place, okay. So uh, very, you know, very hard to wrap your mind around that, right? Um, the next thing is wave speed. Well, it turns out wave speed is the speed of the wave, okay? It's like how fast it goes. Um, and then period is the time it takes for one wavelength to pass. I can remember that one easily, right? Uh, uh, and then frequency is. Well, it's the frequency that waves pass you. So if 10 waves pass you every second, if, it, if they pass you that frequently, then the frequency is 10 waves per second. We also say 10 hertz, right? You can say cycles per second, waves per second. Uh, but the base unit, basically, for frequency is um, seconds to the minus one, OK? Uh, wavelength is in meters. Um, wave speed is, of course, meters per second. And period is, is seconds. Okay. Now, let's do some basic formulas. Okay. Let's suppose that you have uh, a wavelength. Let's suppose that this is 4 meters. Right? Let's suppose they pass you with a frequency of 8 waves per second. Right? Okay, so 8 hertz. Well, if 8 things 4 meters long are passing you every second, the question is, what's the wave speed? Well, the wave speed would have to be, think about it, are you thinking? If eight things four meters long pass you every second, doesn't it have to be eight times four? Thirty-two meters of stuff pass you every second, right? That has to be our wave speed. Okay. So the formula is um, is that the velocity, the wave speed, is frequency times wavelength, right? So if eight passed us every second and they're four meters long, then it's just eight times four, right? The other relationship, and this is not in the data packet, is that um, the relationship between frequency and period. Okay, period is seconds per wave, frequency is waves per second, so they are reciprocals of each other. If 10 waves pass every second with that frequency, then it, take, it took a tenth of a second for one wave to pass. Okay, so let's let's bust out some examples here. Um, the first one is what is the frequency of a wave if it takes 0.12 seconds for the wave to pass by? So the period is 0.12 seconds. So therefore, the frequency will be one over the period, right? So I just go one divided by one divided by 0.12, and I get uh, the frequency is 8.33333333 repeating, right? We only have two sig figs, so 8.3 hertz, right? Or 8.3 waves per second, OK? And then here's our second example. Uh, what is the wavelength uh, of an A440? So that's the, 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 the concert A that they play, right? <clears throat> if the speed of sound is 343 meters per second, right? This is really pretty easy. We don't need this formula. It is the most important formula in this entire chapter. But just think about this. In one second, the wave will have gone 343 meters. It will be divided into 440 equal parts, right? So the wavelength has to be 343 meters per second divided by 440 hertz, right? Okay, so 343 divided by... 440 is point, point 0.7795 meters, and we have, it looks like we have three sig figs, so we have to say point, let's see, we're rounding to there, and it goes, okay, so it's point 0.780 
meters would be the answer with sig figs, right? Now, if we use our, our wave formula, right, V is F lambda, obviously we're going to get the same thing, right? 343 equals 440 times lambda, right? Ta-da. And then we, could ju we just divide, right? So it's the same answer. Um, anyway, there you go. Th those are the basic formulas. And I think what we're going to do is some examples of these.